start recording until now. Oh well. There will always be the VOD on Twitch until it goes away. Then it won't be there. Okay. Uh, here's another potential leader, Nat. He has six languages, a bunch of fucking random cool skills. Uh, he makes decisions quickly and somewhat impulsively, and has an overabundance of compassion. He's too good. He's yeah. too nice. Yeah. Here's another one. Gained renown for leadership of rebel group opposed to regional dictator. Special schools include engineering, extensive use of weapons, medicine, covert operations, and also, while a student, led a successful <laughs> mountain climb up a 30,000 foot peak. That's, uh, this is several feet. She tends to use reason, even though her intuition is strong. Also, she tries to be all things to all people. Like, just for uh, perspective, that peak, that is 100 football fields tall. Okay, so this guy's pretty normal, until it says that he's worked for the Planetary Consulium for the advancement of understanding on some of the spiritual aspects of hyperthought. Ooh, hyperthought. Hyperthought. Why can't that guy be our leader? And here's our fourth leader. Few people involved in the hope for diplomatic relations between Terra and Saladon. Proficient in history and the understanding to foreign cultures. She is a natural athlete. She is a terrific athlete. <laughs> Shala Tra Nagalan sounds like the title of some foreign song. Right now, we need to select the yeah. Hyperthought is definitely four candidates have been identified. That is what I Click do. to indicate selection as team I, commander. I hyperthink. Okay, guys, our first uh, our first uh, big test here. Who are we going to have right. our our team leader? <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I I gotta go, with Zena. I agree with Scro or Rick. I'm sorry. I never know who time hits crew is. Yeah, it's maybe Rick. it's Krem. It's definitely Rick because uh, Lucas Scro yeah. is still up there. <laughs> Less Scro's dual wielding. Stop, stop, you, ne you, ne you, never, you never know with these guys. They got like 10 alt accounts. Fucking GS Gold Log is time hits crew. We wouldn't even know. Okay, uh, so uh, click on the shuttle to launch for transit. Yeah. Okay, guys, get ready. Excellent selection. Do you think she's the one who wrote that? <laughs> I I think I think when you when when you pick a leader they should have said good choice like in Mario Party. <laughs> oh man. Take it I missed some really good audio. No, nah, not good audio. Well, I mean yeah. the audio is pretty <laughs> dumb, but like mostly just the jankness of everything. Yeah. Uh oh, some citizens of Selden, spurred by the White Branch, tried to stop this mission by spreading rumors that some of the crew were agents of the Dark Power. <laughs> agents of the Dark Power. But yeah, we're going through space. So, yeah. uh, we have to go. It's way too far away, so we need to go in through an unstable wormhole. Yeah. We're going in through this fucking math diagram. Well, that tells us what a wormhole is, which is basically yeah. what you normally think it is. So, scientists on Cetaladon using information from an ancient Earth probe to their planet has delved an experimental theory to predict when and well <laughs> hype wormholes will appear. Known as Hyperthought. <laughs> it is a dangerous and untested technique. The Star Quest will soon pass the point of no return. If Hyperthought fails, the crew will be stranded forever, and Celadon will be doomed. Dangerous and untested technique. By bending the laws of physics as described by Einstein, a famed Earth scientist who lived in the 20th century according to Earth calculations. 
<laughs> so we're clear who Einstein is. We are okay, in fact so referring to the checking on the crew. The commander visits the crew. Uh oh. Guess what? So there's an emergency in Sector Three. Holy shit! <laughs> so we okay. The voice of Kuro, the artificial, the only artificial intelligence known to have escaped the computer matrix and function as an independent entity. Considered by some to be untrustworthy and a renegade, he attaches himself to the pro team out of sheer enthusiasm and love of existence. <laughs> well, I love existence. He hopes to turn into a human at some point. Patiently and patient. Yeah, that's just the definition of art <laughs> artificial yeah. intelligence. Yeah, they're they're like yeah. hyperlinks, basically. Yeah. They only come there few times. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're receiving think... a distress call from Morgan Kara. This planet is unimportant. I recommend we leave this planet to its own problems. If you think about it, the blinking eye beam in any text input field, that's the computer tapping its foot waiting for you to do something. Oh, Karma, Karma's talking about us. Oh, uh, that's the same as we have. In <laughs> Remember what Neldon says. Head of the Planetary Senate, okay. <laughs> Cairo might be right saying it. Don't be hasty in your response. Don't forget, our mission is to get to Terra, but we are ahead of scale. <laughs> Thank you, Karma, but the code of space is to respond to all distress <laughs> yeah. calls. Oh, this is her thinking music. Okay, guys. Are we mm -hmm. going to respond to the distress call or ignore it? No, fuck. Uh, Karma oh, said to okay. fuck him. Sort of. Or, well, he said to kind of fuck him, but not <laughs> really. Like, he said, he said, yeah, we can probably listen to him, but I mean, you know, he didn't, like, commit to it. Uh, so that's one vote for each, and depending on what Rick wants to do. What should I have for lunch music? Alright, let's be a hero, okay. So, uh, you've been outvoted. We're going to Mark and Kara. Fooey. Let's enter the zone of magnified power, Commander. Get in the zone, auto zone. <laughs> so that's our ship landing. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Good. Good graphics. <laughs> so uh, we're staying on board yeah. the Star Quest with Boozy and yeah. Trade. Yeah, we fl we flew through a bit of space crust. That's what that stuff is on the outside of it. See, it's us. Okay. Oh, there's a group of fierce-looking people surrounding the seeker. <laughs> Here they are. Look at them. They Holy have. Shit. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> They have super soakers. Look out. Why can't that be us? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, the woman looks like she's been up for like 72 hours straight. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's time for everybody to put on their thinking caps. <laughs> Man, 
maybe we should run. Oh, oh wow! They're changing right in front of our eyes. <laughs> they turned into these people. Wow. <laughs> and then there's this page, which yeah. is just him blinking. Yeah. There, there's no text if you wait or anything. He just blinks. Guys, they're hostile. We need to act, become more attractive. Okay, so should we have Xena lead the delegation, a small delegation consisting of herself, Zerin, and Vittori to meet them? Or to have her remain on board and invite them aboard the Seeker? I think because she's good at mountain climbing, I think she can lead people. You know, if there's mountains in this place. Okay, so that's one vote for leading the delegation. It's, that's another vote for leading the delegation and not letting them inside. All right. analysis of the atmosphere shown here shows that oh man it's mostly oxygen a byproduct of photosynthesis yay we can breathe outside that's good breathing is good in this one Currents come forward. They stick their tongues out to the crew from Kesseladon. This could be a hostile gesture, but it is not. This is custom on the Fortunately, <laughs> Hero had briefed the crew on this custom. Scrotite was up in the chat right <laughs> as I did that. They know about the name of Te the planet Terra, which is supposed to be a very high-level security, like, need-to-know basis. Uh-oh. Suddenly, Xena gets a vision of the future in which she, Buturi, and Zerin are imprisoned in a smooth wall, circular chamber, suspended above a lake of molten melt met material. The smell of sulfur fills her nostrils. The youth in front of her says softly, Welcome to Morgan Kara. The Khan would like to see you at his residence. Intuition in Xena is strong now. She sees the three returning to the craft in safety. But wait, she sees... But it is too late. The rest of the crew have been super soaked to death. Okay, she's, uh... Given a little shaken up by the visions that came into her head. So we're going to decide if we should return to the Seeker, or if she should decide to go on alone, ordering, ordering the other two to return to the Seeker. Fuck this gay thread. Uh, I assume that means <laughs> return to the Seeker? Yeah. Get out of here. <laughs> Like, uh, so, we got an SOS, do you know about it? And they're like, duh, um, what's the SOS? It's looking for a spaceship, but it's actually the transporter. Yeah, there's always a crisis here on here. Tell me your name and I'll tell you mine. The message must just come from the gorillas. They're quite good at that, you know. <laughs> they mean to lure you to our planet, kill your old, take your transporter, and grab your spacecraft. They are pirates, really, not gorillas. The current turns to his crew, not his head. Right, he asks? Right, oh, Fledlog. One of them. <laughs> right, it's, it's, those gorillas are no good. They're murderers. <laughs> like, yeah, we've got a mission. There's no emergency. Yeah. We're out of here.
Oh, Xena, however, has something. Miss Zering has something here. Misa Zering says, Oh, <laughs> she's heard of Morgan Kara since birth. There are things here in this culture that are important to all of us. Misa feels a sense of having been here before, of having personal history on Morgan Kara. As for Karma, he knows Morgan Kara is the first great test for them all. It is a barrier to their future. They must cross it, breach it, open it. So, are we going to let Misa explore? And, uh, or are we going to just say <laughs> we're going to fucking leave? <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> You know, I don't even know who Misa is. Is she one of our people? Yes. Or yes. She, okay. And who's who's Butori? Uh, just some random okay. person. Just like basically yeah. take someone with yeah. you. You know, not like. Yeah. I, I think Butori is a little bit combaty. You know, security guard. Okay, one vote for bailing. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we already said fuck this gay thread earlier, so. Two votes for bailing, that's two out of three. We can't wait, there is no time. Fledlog. The Khan will not like this, Commander. You are being rude. I must insist. His face suddenly takes on a crafty look. But I have an idea. Why don't you go to the Galaxy Gate and then try your luck? If you don't succeed, then you can come back to our capital city, Zarga, and meet the Khan. If you do, then continue your journey. See us some other time. So, do we want to con continue to the Galaxy Quest? Accepts the Fredlaw's suggestion and continues to the Galaxy. Accepts, rejects the Fledgelaw's concession and returns to the Star Quest. As in... Well, the Galaxy Gate is our next kind of objective, or whatever. It's, it's, it's a magical place. I think the Galaxy Gate is like one of the stars you jump in in Mario Galaxy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. accepts or rejects, but both of them are kind of the same thing, like continuing the Galaxy Gate or going back yeah. to our ship, which is apparently going to the Galaxy Gate. But Let's just go to the Galaxy Gate. We are we, we accepting or rejecting? I think we're accepting. Okay. So you want to accept and Scroll wants to accept. Okay. Okay, so how do we get to the Galaxy Gate? We follow the path of skills. Uh, of course. <laughs> Oh, we found a huge creature whose eyes seem to seem all all. The creature appears more inanimate than animate. It's like a building, or perhaps a temple. Hey, have yep. you seen this? Jim, it's full of great traitors. Scout team appears as the guardian of the gate. It snarls. Get back! Where's Karma? The commander asks. Right here, what do you need? It's the guardian of the gate. What is this thing? If my memory serves, this creature is a Zedron. It has multiple powers of destruction. Fire, grinding, and tearing. Most dangerous, at least what they say. The commander remembers stories about this creature who has been guardian of the Galaxy Gate for more time than anyone can imagine. So he only has tearing, but he doesn't have ripping. Yeah, so I think we could probably take him and his giant peppermint. What? <laughs> so, uh, he moves close, pulls the commander aside, he moves really close, <laughs> he moves really close. <laughs> <laughs> there are three ways to overcome the Zedron, force, deception, and understanding. You must choose one now. I am Kaaba. 
Yeah, I think if we talk to Zedron, we'll yeah, just be like, yeah, hey, we're thinking like up? understanding. Yeah, I think so. It's like, hey, uh, you okay, can't so here's our options. Out. We can search the data bank to learn more about the nature and history of the Zedron, or we can show vulnerability and tell the Zedron that we're peace seekers and stuff and to help us. I don't trust Zedron that much. I think we need to search in data bank. Okay. If he like if he like starts using that spinning peppermint to like hypnotize us or something. Uh, or, yeah. if he, or if he tears us. Yeah. The data bank on board the StarQuest reveals that the Zedron will open the gate for any person who comes with honesty and positive purpose. It has acute assessment of people, powers, and motives. So, yeah. maybe we should have read this before we went on the mission. <laughs> the crew tells the Zedron of their quest to help the home planet. The Zedron wants to believe them. Perhaps we can help each other. I am a prisoner here. This is not my true nature. I am not violent, nor angry, nor evil. I am a slave. I want to be free, the Zedron says. How can we free you? What is your real name? My name is Politar. I am held by a force that can be released only if three people will accept me as their brother. No one has ever asked or tried. I am at your mercy. The crew is moved, and with a unanimous voice, they reply, We accept you, Politar. We welcome you. The Zedron shits its hideous form and becomes a man of about 20. <laughs> That's right. We made him a guy. Cool. Using our understanding and, and peacefulness. I. Oh, we get a magic phrase which will help us against future evil. Namaste. <laughs> this fucking weave. Use it wisely. So, we're standing before the crew is the gate, and we have a bag of runes next to it. We have to figure out how to open the runes. The gate. Using these runes. And, uh, we spell open with them. This is, I think, the only puzzle yeah. in the entire game. Aw, oh, shit. We opened the galaxy gate. Ah, uh, open. Never would have thought. Speak friend and enter. Man, we've been out here for 16 food tours. Uh oh, the team needs a rest. <laughs> They're close to the breaking point. There's mutiny in the air. I mean, look at them. They're sleeping with their five identical clones. <laughs> So, uh, Karma and Cairo, the, uh, the, Karma, the guy who pulled us over, and Cairo, the, uh, the AI, is, uh, asking that maybe we should pull down on the next available planet to, to prevent from going stir-crazy. Man, what is that fucking graphic? Like, what? It, it's supposed to be our ship moving, but, like, there's, <laughs> and there's a thing rotating around it, but, like, yeah. there's also white garbage. Yeah, display issues. Yes. They're also thinking that our commander has too much stress and more responsibilities, so maybe we should replace him uh, with that that new guy, Yoshi348. Yeah. So, are we going to uh, wake the crew and call a meeting? To uh, overriding the commander is a very serious breach of protocol, but Karma is convinced it's necessary. 
Or we can land on Car Kandar for R&R &R and then call a meeting to discuss replacing the I commander. I think we need to tell people now. If we wait until we land on the planet, like shit's gonna fuck up. Like, what if Kandar is just shit ass planet? Do we know what Kandar is? I forgot. Uh, we know it's just basically has the right atmosphere and such. Screw Grace, I mean, nip this in the butt. Beep. Beep. Suddenly, the commander appears. <laughs> Are we in scanner range of Kandar yet? He says. Yes, sir, but how did you know we were approaching? Engage maneuvering thrusters, the commander interrupts. Put us in geosynchronous orbit. Set transporter finger. Recognition is spot falling star. Because I said so. So our commander is just kind of fucking doing crap shit. <laughs> because I said so, bitch. Scanners are picking up a small fleet of small craft approaching from the surface. Look at them! Boom. Uh, apparently escorts. Information. Okay, so... The commander has died! Well, that happened. That happened off screen. The commander's dead. They they just turned into a chalk outline. <laughs> First, we must land here and find Z. Two final requests. First, we must land here and find Zenobia, the president of the Kanar Darden Republic. She is said to live in their main city, which is called Boca. Second, that we must get to to uh, Tara. You are shocked and frightened. What killed the commander? I don't know, but a more important question is, who killed the commander? So, uh, so, yep. Uh, we're, we're the new commander now. So, oh. Do we refuse or accept the new commander role of team commander? Accept, obviously. Oh, I think I have an idea, but yes! Take the throne. Pew. Oh, those transporters are right next to the ship. Yeah. Oh man, one of them attached ourselves to a hole with some kind of suction device. Look at them go! Look at our ship! <laughs> oh man, they're, they're, they're beginning to force us down to the surface, which is bad, because we don't have a launch mechanism. We can't get out of a planet if we end up there. That, that seems like a bad oversight. Okay, so there are three ways we can uh, deal with these guys. First, we can bypass the insulator units and send an electrical charge to the hole. That should knock out their suction devices. Damage to the ship is minimal, but it will take repair time once we're safely out of the airspace. Our surface skin will be scorched. Two, we could open a communication channel and try to talk our way out of this. Or three, we could use the sonic weapons and destroy them one by one. No harm to us, it. but, uh, you know, nasty you know bits. People can get hurt. It's a sonic weapon, so we gotta go with the sonic weapons. Alright. Yeah, it's, it's a gangster's well. paradise. Oh, yeah, action music! Battle stations! Full, full power to weapons. Weapons. Boom! <laughs> oh. Uh oh. 
now. <laughs> uh, this is not going well. Well, the med lab is on fire. Love the fire graphics. <laughs> well, Traith is dead. There, there's a lot of them. Uh-oh. Um... Well... <laughs> yeah, you may have chosen poorly. Nah, the, we, what it is is we didn't use the sonic weapons soon enough. Okay, so let's try that again, and maybe not murder. What other games were in this pack? Like, how much, how much time are we going to get on this one? Oh, just this one. It's just this one. Alright. So, guys, uh, your uh, sonic weapons yeah. uh, seem to have uh, caused a fatal yeah. catastrophe, so... Once again, we can yeah. send a charge to the hole to try to knock out yeah. their suction devices, or we can talk with them. I think we should just talk to them, then. I mean, if the sonic weapons didn't work, they're probably invincible. This is Tway. This is the guy who died. Oh, it's Regimenter Burke of the Kandar Liberation Force. Look at him. Oh, we're in great danger. Danton wants us. And our ship. <laughs> Must allow our ships to help us surface. But, uh, I'm just like, hey, yo, we don't have launch capacity. You will refit your ship once you arrive at the main city of Poka. Do not resist us. You are in great danger. So, another choice time. So, we can allow the Star Quest to land. Send the electrical charge, or use the sonic weapons, which probably is the exact same thing. Just lost beforehand. Alright, all right. now we do the sonic weapons. Uh, Scro, can you help me out here? <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. It's exactly the same thing as before, who would have thought? Got him. Aw, oh, shit, we're on fire. This guy, this other guy is on fire, but also <laughs> normal fire. I f oh, look, we're dead. <laughs> Man, I really thought it was going to go better that time. Okay, guys. Okay, choices. You can either allow them to land, or use the electric charge. Okay. Yeah, ele electric charge, definitely. Okay, so they make the sound and so we just kind of bug zapped them and got them out of off of us, and we're moving the ray around. No, it's definitely not the same thing. Uh oh, there's a magnetic pole. Look at that tractor beam. Look how cool it is. Our engines aren't strong enough to. <laughs> Get that tractor beam. Um. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Right, but so. hear, me, hear me out. If we use the sonic weapons and point them in the opposite direction, 
that we're being pulled, I think we can free ourselves. Well, someone else has got a better idea. It's got the elect experimental electromagnetic pulse generator. It's part of some environmental study. It might knock them out. <laughs> Zark! <laughs> oh no, there's an energy field for protecting the tractor beam generator. <laughs> is is Zark now a vocabulary word? Can you click on Zark no. and get a whole paragraph about what no. it means? <laughs> oh, so we try fired our sonic weapons, but they're ineffective against the energy shield. And we're being forced to descend on the dark side of Kondar. Short time. The entire crew, except Cairo, the, the AI, is teleported to a cavern-like room. A force field surrounds all of you. The voice of Danton echoes in your brain like a tidal wave. Food for thought, that's what you are. Food for thought. My pets need brain food. The Terra Probe team is a perfect needle. The Bascoons gather around waiting for their supper. This guy, this guy does hyper thought. We want our supper, they cry in chorus. That's what I saw. They were devouring the planet. So, yeah, yeah. Evil. Man, Danton, voice of Kandar, spirit of greed, worshipped by the Fivers, has the answer. The Fivers. Yes. Uh, so we we did get a secret phrase to use. Uh, we did not get the jewel. I'm sorry. Uh, I got the jewel in my playthrough, but uh, you guys did not get that jewel. So uh, we're gonna use the phrase. <laughs> Namaste. The phrase drives Dr Danton absolutely crazy. He cannot stand its power. He flees as if pursued by his own demons. The burst goons cry in anguish and slurp away after him, only to be engulfed by a bright white light. Instantly, you're transported back aboard the Star Quest. But, for some reason, that just puts you back into Groundhog Day Syndrome. It lets you get out of there without dying, but... Now you have to start back from here. Another 16 food tours passed. So are we going to still uh, wake the crew or are we going to land on Kantar? Well, let's do the opposite of what we did last time. I that think would be landing on Kantar. Yeah. I think if we do the opposite of everything we did, then they won't be prepared when we get to use the sonic weapons. It'll work. Okay, so we're moving down. <laughs> Here's a pretty good waking up pose. They're like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> oh shit, what the hell is this? up everything. This is what I saw in the other timeline, except I didn't see it in there, but I still <laughs> mentioned that I saw it anyway. Okay, so everybody's like, what the fuck is going on? Uh-oh! Shit! A strong electromagnetic force that looks like bacon. Suddenly, the commander appears. There is a strange, frightening look in his eyes because we didn't bother to remember who the commander was. Okay, so we're being held openless, uh, motionless over the eastern quadrant of the planet. 
Full re the commander reveals full reverse. Full reverse could destroy the code drive mechanism, commander. Do what I say. So, uh, just let him do that or try to intervene on him doing the full reverse. That's our, our quest here. So? Yeah, uh, I'm gonna go with SK, yeah, tell him this shit sucks. Let's see, scroll pipes in. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go. No, Bozy, do not use full reverse. Oh wow, this is... What is this background? Oh, that's uh, that's one of the battle backgrounds for I found. So, there's a bunch of arguing and him being a dickass. Okay, so... Uh-oh! We spent so much time arguing that nothing happened. We got dragged into the planet of Kandar. Uh oh, the commander's the eyes roll, her head shakes, and she begins to tr crumble. Zot! To all of you, Zot! She screams like an animal in pain and collapses to the floor of the cavern. Karma's just like, well, now you're commander. There you go. not try to escape. <laughs> I am the voice of Danton. Disconnect our mole weapons. Disconnect all telepathic boosting gear. Leave your craft now. Danton, Lord of the Fivers, let us go! Kyra suddenly mirrored eyes. Don't ever mention the Fivers. You will ruin everything for all of us. Danton is another form of the dark power on who on Earth inhabited the form of a Hitler, of a Stalin, of every power-hungry demagogue who strode the Earth from its inception. <laughs> Wherever Danton's shadow falls, life takes on a luster of final destruction, a dance of death. That's Holy right. Shit. Also, we get this continue button that's just like a Macintosh continue button, only fucked up and made green. Looks like we're dealing with one of them Hitlers. <laughs> yeah. These goddamn Hitlers. <laughs> good, good for nothing, Stalins. Karma <laughs> returns alone and. <laughs> He approaches you and whispers in your in your ear, The commander is dead. Of unnatural causes. I suspect the symptoms of madness to be drug-induced. Someone or something has murdered the commander. <laughs> Karma needs to fucking chill out. back here. Th this window looks like how I always make my windows on Final Fantasy 7. <laughs> ah. Want their supper, devouring the planet. We have the magic phrase, so we're gonna... Or we're gonna start Groundhog Day again. Mm -hmm. So, we're gonna wake the crew or <laughs> land on Kandar. I'm losing track of all this, man. 
so did we even have any choices between landing on Kandar? Yeah, and... I don't think we oh, did. Yeah, no, no, we did have the one choice, whether or not to uh, interrupt the commander. Meanwhile, in waking the crew, I think we have a couple more choices, yeah. including yeah. letting those guys go. <laughs> this is really hard for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's meant by the master of hard yeah. VNs, the choose-your-own-adventure-book yeah. guy. Yeah. When do we get to the hentai scenes? Yeah, uh, wake the crew. Okay, that's one vote for wake the crew. Screw helps out. Well, I mean, that's your fault. <laughs> I, I mean, I know Kiro the AI is very sexy looking, and so is this guy. Yeah. Especially when he gets into your <laughs> ear and turns demonic. <laughs> yeah, where can I buy a Daki of Karma? Okay, so we're gonna ex <laughs> we're going to access, accept, or refuse us. Uh, the role of commander. Let's let's try refusing it this time. I think Karma should be the commander. He clearly knows what's up. Let's grow. Uh, more responses here. Can we just be like fuck Celadon and go home? must take over command, or all be last lost forever in space. A decision or orders, please, now! Is that guy that does Hyperthought still alive? Can we make him commander? So, do we accept command or refuse command? No, the refuse. We, we already refused once. We gotta dig in our heels on this. Be, be as obstinate as possible about this. Fucking dead. Uh. Yeah, I mean, there were two <laughs> options to like take command. Why? The, what the hell did you guys think? There might have been a third one. <laughs> I think if Karma was serious, he would have been close to the screen and red. <laughs> He wasn't close enough to us to take him seriously. Okay, so once again, we've got the electrical charge, talk our way out, and sonic war weapons. Well, we didn't do the electrical charge at this point last time. We did, in fact, try sonic weapons, but you never know, they might work this time. Let's get some more confirmations here. So, uh, <laughs> what is your final decisions? I defer to Scruff on. Okay. All right. This shows his top royal. Okay. So once again, uh, we can allow them to land, or we can do the electrical charge or the sonic weapons. Uh, I guess um, just land on the surface. 
I mean, both the other thing we've been here before. Yeah. And Let's not do the things that killed us last yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you need to hear the music for this part. All right. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> it matches that car pretty well. <laughs> An ancient vehicle arrives. It is like the pictures in the research library you once saw of primitive transporters on the planet called Earth forces outside do not look hostile. They're more like a paramilitary force than combat troops. Hey, what's up? I'm Zenobia, the elected leader of this republic. Should have never come to Kandar. <laughs> I'm Yoshi. I'm Yoshi three four eight. Our commander just died. <laughs> the far side of the planet is a land of nothingness, inhabited by buscoons, creatures of greed which devoured all life. It is ruled by Danton, third son of the Dark Power. He would have forced you to land on the dark side of Kandar, stolen your ship, and used it to help transport his evil across the galaxy. Oh, a good, a good job. The line tool from Paint is helping us out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Every time I see an animation like that, I half expect like Spider-Man cartoon maker music to start playing. <laughs> uh. Many food tours later, we're staring into space. Yeah. We're fast approaching the outer limits of the Great Wall of Stars. You know, Commander, Danton is not finished with us yet. He has surprises in store for us. I'm sure of that. You think out in this version of space, people ever say, like, man, I ain't seen you in a futor. <laughs> also... happens it's scoot we have the child of the great wall galaxy scoot which maybe we would have heard about on a different path or not but it's here now yeah taro lies hidden and well protected within the folds of the great wall of the stars Suddenly, there appears on the view the image of a giant constellation. It is in the form of a dragon. Yikes, that's my dad, Scoot shouts. <laughs> Boy, I hope he didn't miss you. I told Mom I'd be gone to a friend's. I didn't realize this trip would be so long. Talk to Dad, hey Dad, it's me, your son. Where have you been, Scooter? Truth is, Scoot, I did the same in my youth. You are lucky you survived. Not all contacts with humanoid types are friendly. I can tell that you're alright. Maybe you're growing up and will take my rear place here with me, guarding the Great Wall. Sure, Dad, I'm ready, but what can you help my friends? What do they want? To get to Terra. Impossible! You asked the impossible. End of discussion. The giant dragon begins to reform into a constellation of stars. Scoot is red with embarrassment. <laughs> I'll lead you. I know the way, Scoot assures them all. I believe him, Misa says. I know he'll try his best. We really have no other choice. Well, we do have another choice. We can go it alone, Linda Menen Menden Menen Mendez says. So do we accept Scoot's help? Or we go on alone, not wishing to anger the Scoot's father, the great dragon. I think we can trust Scoot. I think Scoot's gonna get us there. Let's see what the ch 
chat thinks. Uh, the chat, th chat thinks he's having trouble. <laughs> but, yeah, let's go with Scoot. Firing out our mini dumbbell ships. And, and they change direction by putting out little purple lines for just a second. <laughs> Karma watches with great interest. He knows all too well that there, out here there is truly little he can or should do. Karma watches with great interest, but not quite the level of interest he watches your ear with. Look at the majestic space flight. Suddenly, there's no more transmission from Misa's spot. What's going on? The commander yells over the communicator. Where are you, Misa? A stentorian voice, loud, familiar, and forceful, fills their ears. Misa zaring that up that absurd parrot of hers are with me. It is your old friend, Danton. What do you want, Danton? Mm -hmm. To go with you to Terra. I must become one of your crew. If it's not you, then there are other crews, other search missions like yours. It is but a matter of time. We can't... We will never accept that demand. So be it. But then you will never see Misa Zarin again. Never. In the background, the crew hears the squeaky voice of Scooter crying, Help us! Please help us! Dun dun dun. We need to help Scoot. Whoa! Will Misa escape the dark power? Will the probe team ever reach Terra? What lies beyond the Wall of Stars? Trouble on Terra, Quest 2 of the Terran Trilogy is <laughs> coming soon. And by that, I mean it never got made. Oh, no. <laughs> the end. I, I think Scoot made it out. He did. I think he uh, found his sonic weapons and burst it out of there. And uh, this track would probably work good for, like, the intermission scream in a Doom, Doom Wad. <laughs> it's never too yeah. late. Yeah, I'll, I'll need to hit the Terran Quest uh, wiki to research the lore if I do that. Uh. These Maybe are all the people you should blame. Maybe browse this game's page on TV tropes. And that's it. We've done it. We've gotten beyond the wall of stars. Thanks Hooray, to Macro we, Mind. We, we, we maybe saved Celadon. Hooray. And yeah, that that's it. That's kind of my stream here. So yeah. uh, thanks, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> what a classics of game. All right. And I recorded yeah. most of it. So yeah, at least before yeah. the game started, so yeah. Yeah, I, I do kind of want to go back and grab screenshots of like all the profiles of the people who are on your ship, but I, oh, thought, yeah. they were, <laughs> I thought they were funny, <laughs> especially the, the second person. 
<laughs> yeah, you don't even expect that it's just not going to be just weird science stuff and not just yeah. weird off the wall bullshit. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I will see you all later. We're now if we want Wait. to, but you know, not on this stream. You know. Yeah. Later, potatoes. Yeah. <laughs>